Jeez, that's hard. So something a bit different today. Uh, it's the Swift Academy race number one. Um, so basically, this is a hill climb. So this is a bit different to the normal races. Um, I'm very much going to treat this as a test rather than a race. So the expectation is it's 30 minutes. It's basically up at the event top route to get the sort of max power you can get. Um, so we'll see what we get. I'm racing in new kit colours today. So I've just moved to a new team, uh, Team Evolve. So it's basically some of the crew from a couple of previous teams I've been in, um, doing a slightly more relaxed team, more for my capabilities rather than the top end races. So let's see how this goes. Um, but I need to quickly just dive into the garage and change the wheels to get the maximum for the climb. So 90 seconds till start. Time for the fans to go on. Let's go. I really do need to get myself organised at the start of these races so that I'm not messing around doing fans and watches as we should be starting. My legs are feeling rubbish already. I think two minutes in. So I now just want to settle down. Nice steady tempo and see how many riders I can pick off. But as you can tell with the breathing, I'm struggling this morning. The good news is that if this is a terrible ride, which it has all the hallmarks of. There is a catch-up week. Um, end of October, I think. So I can do it again. Anyway, time to focus. Okay, six minutes in. Average power well above FTP. Um, at 2.45 now. FTP is 223. Thanks, Craig. Nice ride on by one of my teammates in the new club. So I'm just focusing on me. I'm not chasing anybody. If I catch or get caught, so be it. It does help to have the mental carrot in front of you, but I'm testing. Not racing. So I just have to move the phone. I don't want to drip on it and cause it to <laughs> do something I don't want it to do. notice is how high my cadence is. <laughs> That's perfectly normal. I'm definitely a spinner, not a grinder. So anything in races above 100 is fine for me. Always been that way. Okay, one third distance, heart rate, 149, it's getting up there, power 246, so about the same as it was, this is getting hard, it's a very difficult effort to pace. Just 
checking my core body temperature. 37.6, that's fine. Halfway, heart rate down to 144, but the power's dropping. We have a minute or two. You see here. Okay, 20 minutes in. Heart rate 148. Power about 240 now. Definitely fading. I'll see what I can do. I can keep it. As for a book, FTP, that'll be good. It'll be hard work, though. Actually, uh, although not a teammate, somebody I've raced against a few times. See, I've got their own. Tactics for this race. Some went off hard, but they're steady. It's hard. Drop off. Back up again. I'm in the middle. Can't be steady all the way. Obviously, that's not easy. Needs to stand up. It's to stretch the legs. Just give a different riding position. Okay, control the weight thing. Bring the heart rate right down. One fifty two. Full body temperature now, 38.2. It's currently 16 centigrade, 79% humidity in here. Last five minutes, heart rate 147, average power 239, so it's still coming down. You can see on the graph. Just being a bit inconsistent now. I was hoping to get to the last five minutes. Really push. Now it's last five minutes. Hang on. Let's see if you can do anything in the last couple. Absolutely dripping. Press the legs again. Two to go. The legs are really falling off. Now two thirty-eight. Heart rate one forty-nine. Come on, Chris. Use the coalition rider as the target just to pull you along. Last minute. Time to actually what it's left in the tank, which is not a lot. Jeez, that's hard. Okay, 
Okay, that was really hard. Really, really hard. Played another of his teammates. And that's what I've got this morning. <coughs> it was a good FTP. The average was about 239 ish by the end. So I no idea if the screen told me. Couldn't see. Too tired. Core temperature up to 38.34. Yeah. Humidity now over 80%. This is the one downside with training at home in the garage. It's either roasting in here, freezing in here, or high humidity, or a combination. Anyway. At least we've got that done. What I hope is that that doesn't give me too much of a bump in FCP. I expect it to give some, but I don't want too much. Oh yeah, so the FCP did go up to 30. So that's what about 3.02 or 3.03 watts a kilo, which is okay, that's still within category. That's fine. There you go, that's the new team. Team Evolve 